back um, so let's have a look at what we've covered so far we've had two videos now on the my up account right web version and um, so far we've looked at the dashboard uh, and what it can do uh, and what it actually presents we've uh, spoken about sales and we've also made made mention of the limitations at the moment um, whatever you can't do in the in the web version you'll need to continue doing in the desktop version so at the moment, uh, we can only do uh, sales invoice layouts uh, for services and services and items. Um, the other missing components, which will be built into my uh, at some point in the next few quarters, is time billing, recurring transactions, multi-currency, and sales orders and purchase orders. Now, you know, in, in the desktop, you can actually uh, choose whether you want to process a uh, a quote or a purchase order or a bill now um, a quote you can do uh, but a purchase order you can't so as we're looking at purchasing today uh, uh, we'll have to see um, uh, what you can do there uh, inventory management obviously isn't built in yet um, yet we did speak about items uh, you can um, set up items for sales and uh, and purchases but you can't use them to manage your inventory in the balance sheet. So let's move on and have a look at purchasing. Okay, so we're back at, at the dashboard. Um, today we'll look at uh, purchasing. Um, as I mentioned in the sales, um, uh, sales video, there's a number of ways you can actually add new transactions. Uh, one of the ways is by clicking the plus button at the top right hand side of your dashboard and you'll see the various things that you can uh, create from that. Um, so obviously we can, we can do a bill from here, we can do a quote from here and uh, we can also create a bill from the dashboard itself by clicking on the hyperlink uh, right in the middle of the screen there in the purchasing uh, section here that we spoke about um, and the third method is obviously from the menu so uh, you can do all all these things from the menu as well so looking at the purchases menu um, we can uh, get a list of bills we can create bills we can create uh, uh, payments of bills. We can uh, uh, we can create uh, credit notes and also items. So if we click on bills, it'll give you a list of bills. Um, if we click on create bill, it'll do the same thing as what you can do if you click on bills and create bill there. So there's two places you can do that. Um, you can also create a supplier payment uh, by selecting the supplier and uh, let's say they're paying uh, $4,200 uh, of those two invoices there so say for example um, payment of invoice one and three and all we're going to do there is to say 700 and three five hundred uh, as I mentioned in the in the sales video it'd be nice to have a little tick box a tick box next to these uh, so you can just select them without having to key in the amount so um, I can see a workflow uh, a problem here uh, you can do transposition errors and all sorts of things so by having a tick box here uh, to, to select uh, the total amount you can always change it by overwriting the total amount and putting a part payment in. So I think that that would be a nice uh, sort of improvement. But uh, look, that's the way it is at the moment, and I'm sure as, as time goes on, um, um, you know, other people will actually pick this up as well. 
and um, I'm certainly going to make a suggestion to my to to maybe um, um, add that in there so um, you can also send the remittance advice if you want to um, so uh, you, you can download it um, and you can email it so uh, I'm not going to do that right now um, although I could but uh, let's leave it at that so um, that's how you do a, a uh, payment for so you'll now see that both of those invoices are now closed um, going back to um, creating a supplier return now that's basically a negative negative invoice uh, so you'd have to process it as a uh, a bill but put a negative uh, amount in so if we were to say for example, um, uh, minus. Let's have a look at uh, what what they have there at the moment. Let's have a look at the bills first. I'll just discard that. So let's say we wanted to uh, totally credit out invoice five. So that's one hundred and five dollars. So let's go in and add a new bill, and we say okay, and we're going to have. Um, can't remember what that was what was now so let's have a look um, and it was a hundred and five dollars so let's do it that way and it should be a minus so now you see minus 105 so that's your credit note so save that and uh, it'll uh, give you a bit of a warning there if you save you'll be creating a supplier debit as the balance due is negative okay so we've now created a credit note and if we go to uh, supplier returns uh, there's there's your credit note okay you can then hit the apply button and put that against um, this invoice here 105 and record and now if we go back to bills uh, 105 is now also closed uh, invoice 5 is also closed so um, that's uh, that's essentially all that you can do in purchasing um, obviously when we uh, talk about reporting we'll get to that in one of the next uh, next few videos so um, let's move on and um, uh, go on to the next module and uh, we'll see you soon